Part three, final part of the vinyl collection. Um, going through some vinyl stuff, which I have really been uh, sort of going through a while actually now. Next we're going to is uh, a compilation. We're going to go for the comedy stuff now. Um, <laughs> first of all, I've got to say, I didn't get this album. I was given this album. Uh, if people if people can remember the days of... of you remember the days where you had those boots on when you were dancing away you were in those big arenas where you were sort of like uh, cycling around the areas um this is uh, this is weird this album this is so stupid i don't know why they called it this title it's a crap title anyway some good songs in it though the rock and roll little skull from ronco records yeah ronco records uh why did they choose a title for this? I don't know. Right, first of all, let's talk about the, uh, the tracks that are on here. Okay, uh, so for your rock and roll disco morning, yeah, here we go. Uh, it is um, All What I Like from the Gibson Brothers. Girls, Girls, Girls from Candidate. I have a clear what that is. Love's Got a Hold On Me from Dollar. Reggae For It Now. Um, uh, money from the Flying Lizards. Back in, um, back in My Hand from the Jags. Um, Break It Down, The Real Thing, Halfway Hotel from Voyager, Ain't No Sunshine, Jimmy Lindsay, Amadeus Theme from Jasmine, Rock and Roll Disco from Rocker Records, <laughs> Video Kill the Radio Star, Bang Bang from B.A. Robinson, um, I Don't Like Mondays from the Bhutan Rats, Um. Be the Clock from Sparks, uh, Consistent and Man, the Jolly Brothers, Always and Forever, Heat Wave. Um, Who Were You With in the Moonlight from Dollar, Babylon's Burn the Ruts, L Death Disco from Public Image, and They Love Me from Racy, from Rock and Roll Records, Rock and Roll Disco. This is a load of rubbish. Um, The title's crap. The, 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 the songs are weird. The vinyl is terrible. It is like a mouse in a cave. It's like a mouse in a cave. So if you want a, if you want a Saturday night treat and would love to be in the seventies again, why don't you go and get an album called Rock and Roll Disco from Rock and Records? Trash. The next album is even better than this. I hope you guys are loving this video, by the way. This next one. Got me in stitches when I got this. Oh, this album is brilliant. First of all, I've got to say the DJ on this the DJ the DJ should be praised for this album. It is just incredible. You can't even buy this album at all. And I'm very happy I bought this as a pound from a shop. I've got to tell you, I'm very happy I got this because this is just <laughs> This is excellent. If you if you remember the if you remember the, if you remember the days of, of disco and, and sort of like funny music and things you know you want to have a good time with yourself well why don't you why don't you ever try and get your hands on this record from RSO Records it's gotta be Disco Duck Rick D's Disco Duck <laughs> oh, this is brilliant this is this is this is just brilliant this album this is excellent the first thing I've got to tell you is. Rick Dees is a legend. Oh, come on. He is a legend. He's an American legend. It's 9.4 and Sunday is Disco Duck Day. This is hilarious. This is hilarious. I've got to tell you. If you like parody music, and it's just great, isn't it? It's fantastic. When I go, when I go I heard there was about, about five, ten tracks in this album. I mean, Disco Duck was the best thing. Rick Dees there, and he's... This thing gets me. Just Gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> In this album. <laughs> First of all, let's go for the track list. I'm not going to go for this though. But there's a track on here called Barely White, and it is just like Barry White. It's just so hilarious. <laughs> and then we've got they've got the best track on this is Bionic Feet. Oh, it's so funny as hell. It's great. Then you got Flick the Big, which is I'm not even going to go there. It's just brilliant. Then you've got Disco Gorilla, Dot the Disco, 
uh, Bad Shark, which is a which is a parody of um, of Shaft. It's brilliant. Then we've got he ate too many donuts, too many jelly donuts, which was which is apparently a uh, Elvis Presley cover, and the Peanut Prance by um, by him. Oh, this is just this is funny as hell. It, if you really want to listen to this album, you will wet your pants to listen to this. Um, what I'll try and do is I'll try and load some of this on the channel, but it's obviously this is the original RSO Records label. This um, and there's another one here as well, which I will read in a minute. This is brand new. I had a clean first because it was a bloody mess. But it's the original RSO label, the pig label. Yeah, mm, yeah, piggies, piggies of the world. Um, yeah, this is incredible. There's another one here. Uh, if, you may want, if you want to read this, I'll just read it on there now. So recording was made by Officer Record, London of 67 Brook Street. And the first published in 1977 in the USA. Record made, manufactured and distributed by Polydor Limited. Ah, days of Polydor, aren't they? Fantastic. And I just got this. Just to see what it was like. I had to get it because it was just so funny. And it's just hilarious. You've won a good laugh. This is the one to get. Disco Duck. Fabulous. Brilliant. Good album to get, really funny. Okay, back to the pile of records now again, final edition. Next one to go for is lead singer from Band in the 70s, uh, Grey Hits. Um, uh, not so much popular with the uh, with the solo scene. Um, this is very hard to describe this one. I got this one because it's the only solo album he did. In the UK, um, and this one, eh, uh, I don't know what to describe this one. I might, I might have a funny feeling this may be a concept album. I don't know. I'm not sure. But what I will say is, this album, Randy Bachman's Survivor, is weird. One of the most weirdest albums I've ever heard in my life. Um, we've got a whole monologue in here. We've got a whole story in here about the survivor. Um, I don't get this album at all, to be honest. It is like listening to country music badly. Um, and I, I don't really want to go there, but to be honest with you, this is very, very, very weird. One of those weird songs I've heard in my life. Uh, when you get to uh, I'm a Star, excellent guitar on them, actually. Um, but the, the other tracks suck. But I'm a Star, brilliant. But this album, avoid at all costs, for God's sake. Don't get you can get the CD version of Kim of All. What we'll talk about is a heavy album done by them with Batman Turn Over Drives, Bought Wheel Drive, USA Print. <laughs> well, I say USA Print, it's not. <laughs> it's the USA Sleeve. But it's the wrong bloody um, album inside. This one was only a fiver, I think it was. Yeah, fiver. Heaviest album made actually this one. Uh, it's got a great song called Hey You on this. Which is, it's a technical copy of uh, EUS Nothing Yet. Brilliant song that. She's Keeping Time. Fabulous. Uh, Low Down Fling. Fabulous track. Don't Let the Blues Get You Down. Brilliant. This is just one of the best albums. Only album I think that's absolutely fantastic. Um, you never get around to see the cover. No. Uh, the only thing about it is, is that this is the this is the UK. It's the UK vinyl, but the US um, thing on it. You know what I mean? So it's actually manufactured in the USA, but has not. But this is the uh, but this is the UK vinyl, obviously. But I got to tell you, this is heavy as hell. Really bloody good album. That it's actually good for drinking mode. Really good indeed. And it is cool. Cool album. So four wheel drive from Bike Bad Tell Overdrive, brilliant album, heaviest ever made. Next album to do is another I was Spew Wagon album, which is one of the best albums ever done. It's gotta be the fantastic Grace It's album. Yeah, the only best Grace It's album ever made. Uh, this is absolutely brilliant. This is brilliant. This is the Holland vinyl inside with the wrong information again, <laughs> as you can see. Uh, I will explain. There's a few little tracks, two tracks in here that have not been issued on any albums at all. Um, including with uh, Back on the Road, only recorded for this album. Uh, was Wherever You're Going, It's Alright, which was uh, re-recorded 
before it was put on the Goonies soundtrack and Time for Me to Fly. Not a new track to be recorded for this album. Uh, really good, brilliant, brilliant album made. Only thing about it is the sound quality is very quiet indeed. Yeah, sound quality sucks. Um, obviously from the Holland, uh, the Holland versions, this is, sound quality is terrible. Ugh, awful, really awful. It sounds bloody, it sounds like mice in a cave again. It sounds like little, can you just can't hear us? Terrible. Um, great, great album though, great album, but not recommended to, um, sound quality is terrible. <laughs> really terrible indeed. Okay, next album to go on with is, uh, the next one to go on with. Because I've already done the Queen ones. Um, this one. Not a fan. But this. Is actually pretty good. There's some great songs on here from. Best ever duo. Combo ever made. Sam Garfunkel's. Bookends album. Part compilation. Part recorded. Um, this is got one of the best songs on here, Mrs. Robinson from the Graduate soundtrack. This is just brilliant. Um, in fact, I'd say that this is well worth listening to this, especially with um, Faking It, which sounds to me like that is just influences on India for some reason. Um, and there's actually a lot of good songs on here, it's just very calm and soothing and nice. Uh, but Mrs. Robinson's a killer classic song that reads brilliant. Um, this is the Phillips. You may think it's Phillips. It's not on the CBS label. It's produced by Phillips Records, who were Phillips Records, obviously. Um, this is way before um, they actually got a contract for the uh, for CBS to go into partnership with them. This is this this is the uh, this is printed by not by CBS, but printed by uh, Phillips Records, we believe, because it's had by the gurus on the side with their main thing as well. It is the, uh, actually this album is pretty nice indeed, it's a great album indeed. Um, sound quality is excellent. Um, just Mrs. 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 Robinson's, just one of the best songs I've ever written, come on, it's brilliant. Um, I can't get back in the pattern for some reason. Anyway, I'll just say it's a good album to listen to, and there you go. Right, I'll pull them away later on. Okay, next album to get is... <laughs> Mixed feelings about this next one. And it's pit water and stuff. <sighs> this scratch the hell this album. Um, yes, it's a Rainbow's um, Best of Rainbow. Well, not impressed with this at all actually. Um, I had the German version of this from the Mark the Seller in Washington, and the sound quality was just to me was authentic and genuine and brilliant. This is a rip off. This is a total rip off this. Um, I got this from Sasha's Market. Uh, are you thinking the sound quality is good on this? Well, yeah, but what I don't understand is why is it. Right, this is a weird thing. Side 2 Stargazer and Light in the Black are common copies of the, of the album I just showed you, Rainbow Horizon. Sound quality is the same. It is not, it's not even improved. Um, the rest of the tracks on the album sound to me brilliant. Um, just side two is a bit of a mystery because it, it sounds to me like the, the Stargate and like the Black sound like the, the common copies of of the Flanger versions, and they are it's awful. Um, great arm though, great, great, great arm because you've got like Cozy Powell and drums and stuff, and this is a brilliant, authentic double e album that came out. It is the original UK edition. I mean, I had the Hamburg version, and the Hamburg version was just bloody awesome. It was much, much, much different. Um, obviously, we've got the uh, inside. We've got the uh, original 3D version of that, and also the original one of that as well. I don't know if I showed this before on my channel, but if you ha ever have, then you can just uh, have a look at it. But this album, good. Avoid side two though. To the voice side too. I think the CD version is different. I think the CD version's got the original versions of um, Stargaze and Light of Black in it. Because I have heard the original versions of them and they're just pretty much uh, just just basically the same to me anywhere what they are. Um, and that is it. Um, I have no more vinyls to show you. Um, I just thought I'd take a time to do a video of vinyl collection I suppose because I had a lot of vinyls to, to get out. Because I was sitting over there in the corner and I thought 